That's not that's not her fault. Here come, the, here come the police, girl. Here come the police. What's up, guys? What's going on? It's JP with Calm Vibes, and I am back again. Okay, so <laughs> from the, the the little clip, we see this so many times, and uh, I always wonder, like, guys, guys, what the f are you doing? When uh, like me and my wife talk about this all the time, like guys cheat in the same area. And all this stuff. Like, bad enough that you're going to do it. But you doing it where her friends and family and all these people are around. And uh, like we said, it's, it's just a lack of respect. And so, uh, this young lady must have gotten a phone call. Because you'll hear later on, she was talking about, you know, it took a lot from her not to bring her rifle up here. So somebody probably called her and told her dude was up here with a woman. And uh, it just went to hell after that. So I'm not going to hold up too much. Let y'all check it out. Um, don't forget, before you get started, hit that little subscribe button, like, and comment at the end. Let me know how you feel about this. And uh, I'll respond back to the comments. And I appreciate those that came on and uh, subscribed earlier. Like I said, I'm just now getting back started up. So continue to support. Hope I haven't lost you. But let's get with it. Let's go. What you lying for? Her rifle. Why you Right, I know that's right. Oh, y'all don't do that. Don't do that. That's not bad. I don't care. I don't do that. I don't do that. Look how you are. I'm so sorry. Get up and go on. Hey, they gonna take them a minute. She recording too. I know that Yeah, yeah, I know that fella. It didn't happen to me. I told my sister to go your way. Huh? No, that's her husband. That's her husband. You sit up here like you don't want to make a happy fucking family. Hey, you know who? Now, that's what I was thinking was, how long is it going to take for you to look over at this woman laughing at you guys? Now, dude, you risk your marriage to go up there to some chick that you've been messing with back in the day. She got married. Uh, she split up with her man. She got old dude's child up there. Y'all up there acting like y'all a fucking family. And when your wife catches you, she laughs at you. She laughs at the whole situation. She sits there so calm that she know nobody's going to try to touch her. Something is just wrong with this. This whole thing, something is wrong where um, this thing played out before. And she know a girl ain't going to do nothing. But you going after a girl, really you need to just stay on your dude. Now she's filed for just 
she know he's still married and she meeting up with him. Like I said, she done brought another dude's kid up here. And, uh, ladies, and see, and this the shit, you know, we talk about. And I told this young girl this one time when her boyfriend had her taking pictures. It was her, him, and his probably eight month or one year old daughter that wasn't theirs. It was from his last girlfriend. And they were taking family photos and fucking colors and everything. And I told her, I was like, um, you wrong for that. And she's like, what? We just this, this. I said, because I guarantee you he didn't ask the, the baby mom permission to do this. And she go to tell me how crazy the baby mom. I said, it don't freaking matter. You wrong. I said, now when she see this shit, that y'all taking pictures like y'all happy family with her baby. I said, you going to have some problems. And how about two months later, she came back, told me, you were right. She went off. And so this lady showing up with her ex-husband's kid. And you see the baby is small. She don't give a fuck. She don't went and met a whole different dude that's married. Now something could have broken out, started fighting. This woman could have attacked the baby. Any fucking thing could have happened. She could have came up there shooting because she said it took everything in my, you know what, to not bring a gun up here. So, you know, y'all got to be careful out here when y'all trying to creep and think it's funny and you don't care and all this shit. Mm -mm. Just check the rest of this shit out, man. It's just ladies. And y'all always talking about the dudes. Look at this bullshit. Yeah, he's fucking wrong, but look how you wrong to your baby's father and your fucking situation. Yeah, well, you ain't married no more. She hurt. Seven years ago. That's not that's not her fault. Here come, the, here come the police, girl. Here come the police. Here can you have, I ain't got no business. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. No, I'm not. Okay, okay. So I'm just gonna finish this shit out. Um, there's just a lot of wrong going on here. Um, she's with a dude. Like, seem like she's been with at least seven or more years because she made this comment about something he messed with this girl seven years ago. Um, you know you got a piece of shit, dude. So why are you keeping this dude around? That's the first thing. Your situation is so bad that someone probably called you, like I said, and told you he was up here with another woman or with a woman or with that woman. So you come running up there, fight with him up there in the restaurant. Now you hear them saying, police coming. I don't give a fuck about no police. Now you about to fuck up your career. And see, and I keep telling people, y'all keep doing shit out in public to my, y'all don't care about the police and all this other stuff. When they write them fucking citations and you up there with assault and battery because you would be charged with assault and battery. He stays sitting the whole time trying to hold you off. You constantly hitting him. People recording. No matter how fucked up it is, now you are in the wrong. Because you put hands on him. So, all I say is, I mean, he already showed you he didn't give a fuck about you. Why are you still here? Get rid of the dude, ladies. Like I said, you know, one mess up. 
You can be overlooked on both sides. Continuous going and going and going, messing up. No, nah, it ain't worth it. Like late in things saying, oh, she hurt. Oh, she hurt. Yeah, you hurt because you stayed with a sorry ass dude. Like you said, this lame ass dude. But you up here fighting over this lame ass dude. Think about it, ladies. There's plenty of dudes out here. Like I said, y'all have a damn bad habit of picking these sorry ass dudes. Think about what you're doing before you get with these dudes. Like, come on. Well, either way, I'm not going to hold this up. Um, like I said, y'all guys hit me in the comments. Hit me up. Let me know what y'all know. But think about this. Um, I like to try to get some conversation going. Because I can have way I think it and feel it. But I want to hear from a woman's perspective. Other than the feelings of hurt. Why do y'all stay? You know, don't tell me because you love. I don't want hear that shit. Why do y'all stay in toxic situations? Because then when she break up with him, she's going to take him to the next relationship. Now, see, that shit there is toxic. And see, women always say, oh, I was in a toxic relationship, blah, blah, blah. But then again, I don't know his side of the story. She might be a straight B at the house. He might not be able to just deal with her at the house. She might always be fussing and fighting at the house. You see, this is always it's a one-way situation. The only problem is he was married and met the girl. And he already had history with the woman. So it's made his situation look terrible. But a lot of people don't know what's going on at home. Every situation is not a happy situation. Even though she up here fussing and fighting, you know, she might be doing that shit at home all day. So I can see like, like some of y'all listening to me like, oh, he's trying to flip this on her and all this and this. No, that's not what I'm doing. I'm just bringing up another perspective of how you can look at this whole situation. And that's what I always try to do when I discuss these things. And it's hard to have conversation with your ladies about certain things because you listen to respond versus listening to comprehend. Every time. Before you can get out whatever you're talking about, you already responded back with something. Boom, boom, boom. Listen to what we're saying. Don't worry about the tone so much. Just listen to what we're saying and then respond. So hit me up in the comments and guys, um, you know, you ain't got to go off talking shit and all this. Just talk. You know, regular conversation. Talk about it. All right. So don't forget, hit that subscribe, like, comment. Keep the comments classy. How about we do that? And we'll do this again. This is JP with Calm Vibes. And I got to get up out of here. Peace.